My name is Scott Summerl. I'm the Managing Director of Opera. Today I'm here with Arthur. He's our Technical Sales Consultant and Product Specialist. We're here to talk about Sanavox and this biowall installation that we have here behind us. Arthur, what can you tell, about, tell us about Sanavox as a company? Well, Sanavox is a Canadian company established in 1995 and they've been um, producing and engineering uh, ultraviolet light uh, technology for more than 25 years now. So um, we know that everyone's talking about aerosols in the, in the current environment. What can you tell me about this piece of equipment and how does it work? So this piece of equipment that you see here is designed to do air disinfection and uh, the way it works you have a gunlet of five lamps installed parallel with the airflow and as the air passes through those lamps, it breaks down the DNA of the living organisms and therefore that organism will no longer be able to reproduce itself. So it, it inactivates molds, uh, viruses, bacteria. Okay, so um, how do I know it's going to work? Like how, how do you engineer it for each different installation? Well, UVC technology is not something that's, uh, that's new on the market, so it's been around for more than 50 years, and for the last 25 years it's been used in air disinfection and surface sterilization. Uh, so we know we have a lot of data to, uh, to size up. We know that every single organism or virus will have certain UV susceptibility, and we, using the software, the sizing software, we can size up the amount of UVC energy that we need to inactivate certain organisms. So what you're saying, if, if you came to me and said I had a duct of 800 by 500 and I had a problem with tuberculosis, you could design a system to effectively disinfect that Correct. Virus. Okay. Correct. And we can do it on a single pass or multiple passes. It, it all depends on the facility. Okay. So what are the key features of this, this machine here? So the key features, you will, you will see that there, there's a gunlet of five lamps that have uh, aluminium parabolic reflectors that intensifies the UV. Uh, also, we have an externally mounted ballast box that contains five ballasts that will fire up each lamp and this ballast box has a BMS connectivity feature. So what you can do is uh, you can set up the whole um, unit to talk to your building management system. Also, we have a smart screen that will show you the output of those lamps and each lamp will have a timer. 17,000 hours will be the warranty for those lamps and they known to work for that uh, before the UVC starts to depreciate. Uh, each lamp will have its own output and you can access each lamp to see the runtime. If there's any faults, uh, the system will tell you that there's faults and you will have to service it. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so um, how easy is it to install? Oh, it's, it's really easy. You can retrofit this technology in any, in any building. All you, need to know is, uh, all you need to know is the duct dimensions and the airflow. You cut in an opening, you install it parallel with the airflow. There's an externally mounted ballast, smart screen. It, it's easy. Quite often people ask, what's the difference between UV inside an air handler on a coil and UV in a duct parallel with the airflow? That's a really good question. So both technologies, they use germicidal spectrum of UV light and uh, the difference will be the actual application. Your coil cleaning UV will be installed perpendicular to the airflow. So when the air passes through the lamp, it doesn't have much of a dwell time to inactivate any virus. Uh, but when you're talking about air disinfection, the UV is installed actually parallel with the airflow. So as the virus passes through the lamp, it has enough UVC exposure to be uh, able to be deactivated. Okay, so another commonly asked question is, uh, in regards to filtration, um, what's the difference between filtration and ultraviolet light? So basically filtration captures the particles uh, and doesn't kill them, but doesn't kill them. UV doesn't capture anything, but it kills everything. So these technologies should go side by side when UVC will be inactivating any viable matter that passes through the lamp and the filtration will be capturing that matter so that it's going to be inactivated. Okay, thanks. 
I hope you found that information interesting. Uh, as you know, there's a lot going on in aerosol research. There's certainly a, a lot going on with the current global pandemic, 16 million plus infections, and we've got some significant issues in our own country. But even prior, TB, known to be spread by aerosols, 10 million people last year, um, problems in the islands off North Queensland. Um, you know, these issues aren't going away and you'll see many technologies like this uh, evolving to help disinfect buildings. And certainly um, it's a short conversation today, but if you need to know more, contact us at www.opira.com.au or you can reach out to me at scott.opira.com.au. Thanks for listening.